Are you interested in off-grid living, homesteading, or life without government intervention? Well, these are the best off-grid communities in the world. Places that have gone against traditional society to create intentional living spaces geared towards self-sufficiency, sustainability, and complete freedom. Coming in at number five is a special place off the coast of Vancouver, Laskidi Island, a place where you can take a step back in time and where everything is off the grid. Evidence suggests that humans have existed on this island for thousands of years, and it was home to a group of First Nations people. The community benefited from the massive old growth forests and rich ecosystem on the island. However, tragedy struck in 1862 with the rise of a smallpox epidemic. The native population was wiped out. It wasn't long before the island was targeted for a massive logging operation in 1891. In 1974, a trust was established that would protect the island and its unique ecosystem. Since then, no mass development has taken place. Traditional roads were not constructed and the island was not equipped with power. The only option for residents was to live life off the grid. It keeps you closer to, to what it means to be alive on this, on this planet. With around 400 residents, Lasketi is one of the world's larger off-grid communities, and its beauty makes it no question why people want to be here. While there is little to offer as far as industry, residents don't seem to mind at all. People here barter for goods and services, some of them swearing away money. They even have their own free store. Where you can pick up odds and ends for free. The island is home to many fascinating structures, including yurts, and even an earthship. And they have their very own wild population of sheep. Number four on our list is Cabo Polonio, one of the most beautiful places for off-grid living in the world. This video is brought to you by Okmo Tech, a company that is redefining solar generators and portable batteries. For us, being on the road and traveling places with limited electricity, it is essential to keep our batteries juiced up and cameras ready to go at any time. A great way to do that is to travel with an Okmo power station. They come with 1,000 and 2,000 watt options and come with easy to use solar panels that ensure that you have battery whenever you need it. Go to their website and use this discount code to save up to $350 off your purchase. If you're considering going off grid or traveling for any extended period of time, having something like this will make travel so much easier. Located in a national park on the coast of Uruguay, this community is home to around 70 full-time residents. The history of Cabo Polonio goes back to 1753. This particular area was notably put on the map when a Spanish sailor, Joseph Poloni, aboard a ship named the Cadix, ran into trouble on the water. A massive storm beached Captain Poloni on a nearby shore of what was then a land under vast Spanish control, or better known today as Uruguay. After the wreck, the area was named Polonio. For many years, this area was considered to be cursed and was a territory of horror for pirates from all over the world. After this, a community began developing and the population increased. In 2009, the territory was declared a national park. Since then, new construction has slowed and the pre-existing primitive housing stuck around. Cabo Polonio is a place that may look more traditional than other off-grid communities, but has plenty to offer. It is one of the most accessible locations for travelers looking to experience off-grid life. And while it may be more accepting of outsiders, as there are plenty of places you can stay, getting there isn't easy at all. You can either take a horse, a 4x4, or walk six miles along the beach or across sand dunes. Once you're there, you can experience the only place in continental Uruguay with seals. You can surf or simply enjoy the beautiful beach. It may sound like a tourist getaway, but the community here holds on to their off-grid lifestyle dearly. The village gets their limited electricity from solar panels and wind turbines, has local wells, collects rainwater as a water source, and uses recycled materials to build their homes. I wanted to live in the nature. I wanted to imagine that we could make like an island of artists. Stephen Phelan, in an article for The Guardian, noted that most of the community is composed of exiles, pioneers, who came here to escape unfulfilling city lives. In number three, we have Lamas Village, a place beaming with off-grid sustainable principles. Living in an eco-village among the fertile Welsh landscape is a community who uses alternative methods to live, eat, and parent. We actually checked this place out recently and we were blown away. We have an episode specifically about this amazing community. One thing we forgot to mention, however, in our video is that you could even spend time volunteering here. There are programs that allow you to stay on site and help plot owners construct their homesteads. After visiting off-grid settlements around Europe, Lamas Village was built utilizing their own economy that they created. 
all in the pursuit of setting a realistic example for future renewable developments. You know, you're no longer reliant on supermarkets or mainstream utilities to, to, to meet your needs and, and that's an, in, an incredible kind of process. Returning to what is natural and pure is exactly what is happening at Lamas. In order to live in the Lamas Eco Village, you have to prove that you can be at least 75% self-sustainable within five years at their eco homestead, or you're out. Lamas needs to demonstrate that the people are working the land and meeting at least three quarters of their needs directly from the land. Their structures are built from locally sourced materials. They heat their homes with primitive wood burning stoves. They farm their own food. They are powered entirely from solar and hydroelectricity. And while Lamas is a huge success today, there is a very fascinating story of how they got to this point. The paperwork involved is simply huge. We're talking an application in excess of 5,000 pages here. It includes fighting the government. And four weeks later, we'll, we'll hear whether we've got it or not. Yeah, it's open. Being rejected from their neighbors. A dream has attempted to be imposed on an unwilling community. The hippie movement, in all, it is an amazing tale of perseverance. Check out the video on our channel. This place isn't necessarily on our list, but deserves an honorable mention. Organic Earth Homes and Lifestyles is based out of Ghana. It isn't a community per se, but they are working with people to help build their own. Their mission is to provide sustainable off-grid homes for people looking to minimize their carbon footprint and connect with Mother Earth. They build homes using locally sourced bamboo, rammed earth technology, collect rainwater, and utilize other innovative techniques for off-grid living. Ranked number two is Tinker's Bubble. Located in Somerset, England, Tinker's Bubble is a unique off-grid community that has taken sustainable living to the next level. The story of Tinker's Bubble began in 1994, when 10 friends set out to create an intentional community that worked with the land instead of against it. We're exploring possibilities of low-impact lifestyles. Initially, many doubted that a community like this could thrive. Their first winter was extremely rough, as the weather left them swimming through mud during construction. To make matters even worse, the local planning commission attempted to deny them the right to build. The system is that we don't invite wise people. We invite people who are party politicians. Though experiencing loads of adversity, the founders fought back and eventually earned an opportunity to prove their concept. The people here, known as Bubbleites, have been granted special permissions to build their homes from scratch as long as they can live off the land they reside on. Because of this peculiar agreement, the six full-time residents and other long-term volunteers have constructed some incredibly uncanny homes. Wow, lovely. I mean, it's huge. It is. Plenty of space. It's bizarre. I mean, I've come from a five-bedroom house to this, and uh, this feels so much more comfortable and easier to clean. Tinker's Bubble actually bans the use of fossil fuels. Gas stoves, heated water, a quick rip on a dirt bike, not here. They utilize equestrians for travel instead of motor vehicles and take advantage of their true power to help meet their agricultural needs. To provide money for their families, the community harvests local wood and has a farm where they make juices and ciders, which they sell directly to local markets. Overpowering all of their building practices and businesses, however, is their mentality for change. Every little change we make can help the world and we can only start with small steps. We can't stop people flying on jumbo jets or driving their cars every day, but we can suggest they take more walks or don't buy so much plastic or try and buy local. And hopefully those little changes will have a ripple effect on everybody. Okay, now it's time to talk about the sponsor of this video, Okmo Tech. Check out this battery. The Okmo 1000 and 2000 watt portable power station has 10 multifunctional power outputs and it can be all powered by the sun. I recently moved and because Harris and I are so interested in off-grid living, of course I looked up how to equip the house with solar panels. The Okmo Tech solar panels and battery was kind of a perfect middle ground between actually equipping the house with solar panels and being fully reliant on the grid. So I encourage you to check out their website and use our discount codes to save up to $350 on your purchase. In fact, this video is not only sponsored by Okmo Tech, it's powered by Okmo Tech. In the coveted spot of number one is the Greater World Earthship community in Taos, New Mexico. This is the largest off-grid community in America, and you could even be a part of it. We already filmed an episode here, but we have some exciting updates in this video. The story of the greater world began with a vision from the now revolutionary architect, Mike Reynolds. The American dream is in a pile of sticks in Oklahoma or Alabama right now after the tornado. And 
the pipes froze and water ran down the steps and the house is inhabitable uh, right now in Dallas. You know, the American dream is gone. This is the American life raft. That's what this is. After realizing that the problem would only get worse as time went on, he was determined to create something that could save humanity. We got away with building a beer can building here and then, then we got into bottles and we got into tires and we got into thermal mass and we got into water catchment. And as the world got more and more in jeopardy on all things that we need, we just incorporated them into the buildings. So now we're building what we call an earthship. It's a vessel that addresses six things that humanity must have. That's comfortable shelter, electricity, water, treating and containing and treating your own sewage, food, and dealing with your own garbage. Earthships can be completely self-sustainable. Here, all of their water is captured from the roofs. The internal climate stays at 70 degrees year-round without the use of any electricity. Now you have all this dirt, all this earth that's like a battery, and you can heat that up and cool it as you want, you know, for your own comfort. And so by heating up your greenhouse, then that is charging up the rest of the house and those earth walls. And then at night or in winter, that kind of comes back into your living area and makes it comfortable for you. Any electricity they do use is generated by solar panels and wind turbines. They recycle their wastewater and can house enormous gardens. In short, earthships provide everything one needs to live. This place is so phenomenal because of its scale the reliability of their off-grid systems, and the autonomy of its community. The people are true freedom seekers, those accepting of alternative lifestyles to better themselves, their community, and the world. Now with their new flagship model, the Unity, they are ready to spread their community throughout the globe and build wherever possible. Their newest and most efficient model has opened the door for them to further develop their mission of creating weatherproof, basically bomb-proof, sustainable, self-sufficient homes for as many people as possible. Let us know in the comments if you think we missed anything or if you disagree with our rankings. Be sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this that highlight fascinating communities.